Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is May the 21st, 2020. Let's talk boxing, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's talk about a great moment in boxing. Sometimes the big moments are overlooked. Sometimes we take a guy's talent for granted. We see a title defense and it looks mundane. Right? Doesn't look that extraordinary. Until you go back and you look at the tape and then you notice something that shows the talent that the champion has. Now let's turn back the clock a few years to 2007. Let's talk about the IBF's mandatory heavyweight contender at that time. It was a guy named Ray Austin. Now understand, Austin didn't have a big punch, but he was a big man. And he moved like a big man. Ray Austin reminds me at times of Anthony Joshua. In fact, this fight might be used by some to think about a Joshua Tyson Fury unification match. Well, let me just say this. And I know, by the way, that Joshua models himself after Vladimir Klitschko. That's a different story. For this matchup, in my mind, Joshua is really more the Ray Austin guy. Ray Austin at the time was the mandatory contender. Big man. 6'6". Six, six. In fights, he'd use size. Right? Length. Reach. Weight. To be the big man on campus. Right? Understand the problem with being the big man on campus. You're still a local. So when you go and you fight for the world heavyweight championship, right, maybe your campus skills will carry. Maybe they won't. Ray Austin was a big fish in a small pond. He had gotten a draw with Larry Donald. He would gotten a draw against unbeaten Sultan Abragamov, who would go on to get a share of the heavyweight title. He would beat Owen Beck after this fight. He would go on later to beat Andrew Galata. But here he was against a real champion. A total badass. This is one of Vladimir Klitschko's best fights. Just imagine, you're the heavyweight champion. You're fighting a mandatory. Would it startle you to hear me say that in this fight that ended in a second round KO, Vladimir Klitschko, in my opinion, never throws his right hand. He throws a lot of punches, folks. Throws a lot of jabs, throws a lot of left hooks. Vladimir Klitschko was so skilled that he never has to throw his right hand. Vladimir Klitschko was right-handed. Vladimir Klitschko threw a beautiful straight right hand. It's a beautiful straight right hand. He knocked out many men with it. But against Ray Austin, who's nervous, you get the feeling Ray's the kind of guy who might have benefited from not having fans in the stands. He's making obvious mistakes. He's getting hit with a bunch of left hands, and you know what he does? He keeps going toward Vladimir Klitschko's left hand. Well, Vladimir Klitschko treats him like a big clunky guy. He hits him with jabs. He mixes in with hooks. When Ray comes forward to try to engage him, Klitschko, who has the superior foot speed, just like, dare I say, 
Tyson Fury has the superior foot speed on Anthony Joshua. When Austin tries to crash the pocket, Klitschko just backs away. Then when Klitschko gets back in the pocket, he's just throwing left hands. He never has to engage. And I mean never has to engage Ray Austin. So what I want you to do is to look at the second round here. This is the last round of the fight. This is Ray Austin's shot as the mandatory contender for Vladimir Klitschko's title. And Vladimir Klitschko, I don't know if his hand is injured or what the story is, but Vladimir Klitschko keeps his right hand in the holster. He's just jabbing and hooking Ray Austin with his left. Folks, he gets the KO, right? Ray Austin is so confused, not only does he go toward Klitschko's left hand at the end of the fight, he boxes himself in. He literally goes toward the ropes. In other words, he's getting battered by Klitschko's jab and left hook. And then he goes toward the ropes and corners himself where he gets stopped. Here is the film. Folks, this is a champ defending his title against the mandatory using one hand. I hope you enjoy the fight. Von Vladimir Klitschko, Emanuel Stewart hat angekündigt, weiter soll er arbeiten mit der Führhand, die hier gut durchkam. In der zweiten Runde soll sie noch häufiger treffen und bei Ray Austin da hat man gesagt, atme durch, du kommst gut in den Kampf und du hast ihn doch schon mal getroffen. Und man meint sogar erkannt zu haben, dass Klitschko gezuckt haben soll. Diese Meinung hat die Ecke von Ray Austin exklusiv. Mal gucken, was in Durchgang 2 passiert. zurückhaltend mit der Führhand, weil man sieht, er will dann die Rechte gleich hinterher schlagen. Da die Metitschko und da hat er gemerkt, da ist der Weg noch zu. Das macht dann keinen Sinn, da unnötig Kraft zu vergeuden. Und immer gut im Rückwärtsgang nimmt er seine Rechte ganz hoch, dass da kein linker Haken von Austin durchkommen kann. Die linke drin, der ist schwer mitgenommen und das sieht so aus, als ob der Kampf schon vorbei ist. Ein linker Haken aus dem Nichts. Ray Austin am Boden. Wir sind bei sieben, wir sind bei acht und der kommt nicht mehr auf die Beine, oder doch? Nein, der Kampf ist aus. Der Kampf ist aus. Einmal richtig Maß genommen und dann explodiert. Oh, war das ein Volltreffer. Das war diese Rakete. Wir haben es ja im Einspieler gesehen. Das hat ja Emmanuel Schuart gesagt. Wenn sie kommt, ist es eine Rakete. Hier war sie. Die linke. Der linke Haken, und da steht er schon, ist schwer mitgenommen am Ringseil. Und Eddie Cotton, der Ringrichter, der darf ja nicht im Stehen anzählen. Der hat er erst mal kurz gewartet und geschaut. Ist er noch bei sich oder will er umfallen? Und hier... Ist er dann dazwischen gegangen, denn wenn er zu Boden sinkt, dann darf er ja anzählen. Und so wie er hier umfällt, nach vorne rüber, da ist mehr oder weniger klar, da ist nicht mehr viel zu retten für Ray Austin. Der Rainman in dem Falle mit einem Regentanz.